did you find out that Kyle did the number two quarterback? Um, yeah, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, just uh, going out to practice and him kind of relaying the news to me. Mm -hmm. Is that on Wednesday? Um, I don't remember the exact day. Um, was that a surprise to you or had you felt trending in that direction? Um, no, I think, you know, for, for me and Trey, you know, we were, we were both competing. Um, and, um, you know, we were doing everything that we could to, to earn that job. And, um, you know, I think for me, it's um, as a competitor, um, you know, you're expected to um, to want to win that job. And for me, it was just going out there, playing really good football every single day. And I knew that at the end of the day, um, if I did that, um, I could be in a really good spot to earn that job. But I wasn't. I wasn't in my head at all ever like thinking, oh, you know, I have a really good chance to win this. You know, I was just taking it one day at a time, um, you know, one practice at a time, one game at a time. Traded, being traded. What kind of words do you have for him? Yeah, you know, I uh, haven't gotten a chance to spoke to him um, or speak to him yet um, since he got traded. But um, yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's um, a great dude, um, you know, loved in the locker room and um, all those things. And um, great teammate, um, you know, even coming here and, and competing and doing all those things. And even since OTAs, you know, he's been uh, nothing but great to me. And, um, you know, I've, I've appreciated that a ton. Um, so I'm sorry, what was your question? Advice or would you, you know, as someone who's been through yeah. these? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. I'm taking it one day at a time, you know, obviously going there. And um, I know he's going to, you know, um, you know, sees whatever opportunity comes in his way, um, and he's he's gonna you know dive headfirst into that playbook and get it down. So it's just it's really you know it's it's kind of a you know what's next mentality in terms of uh, trying to get the the playbook down, and, and you don't really have time to to think about any other things other than football. Did you speak to him after you were? Yeah, yeah, we had we had a you know a couple of days to just be able to be in the quarterback meetings and stuff and, and talk about it and. Um, but yeah, I know, uh, you know, Trey, like I said, he, he's he's a great dude, um, really good player. Um, he's going to go somewhere and, um, you know, go to Dallas and, and take advantage of the opportunities that he gets. You know, a lot of Trey's biggest fans are loudly critical of you. I'm just kind of wondering, have you heard that criticism? Has it bothered you at all? How have you last couple of No, I haven't. I haven't heard or looked at any criticism. You know, I'm not scrolling through the comments on, uh, on anything, Twitter, Instagram, any of that stuff. So, um, you know, and then people, I haven't, I haven't heard anything on the streets or anything like that. People saying things to me, but um, yeah, I think, I think if I, if I were to see those things or hear those things, it would just, you know, I don't know if it would affect me that much, to be honest. A lot about better decision making, the key for you. I mean, I'm in interception training camp practices and all. I mean, obviously, it seems like you're, you're making strides. What is it that's helped you develop? <clears throat> yeah, I think for me, it's, it's understanding. Okay, you know what the situation is. You know having a better grasp of, okay, first and second down, you know, just being a little more careful with the football, understanding, you know, we have a couple more downs to go to get the first down and, um, you know, all those things play into it. And then third down, kind of understanding what coverage they play and, and where we want to attack the defense and, uh, you know, what, what my progressions are. So I think, um, you know, having a, having a really good grasp on the offense um, and understanding kind of what the defense is doing um, and being able to make quick and, and decisive decisions um, with the football, um, you know, that's, you know, the biggest part in this position is, is take care of the football. And that's, I think, the best way to do it. What have you learned about the system and how it might be better? Than um, you know, I just think, <clears throat> you know, going, going through the progressions and, um, you know, I'm not going to compare it to any other systems I've been in, but um, I just love how, you know, everything's very um, concise and, and clear. Um, and it's this is where we're going with the football and this coverage and this coverage we're alerting this and we're we're just getting it down to our back or whatever. Um, it's uh, it's very clear and concise um, with what we want to do and what we want to accomplish on every play. Right. Yep. Every play. And so how do you feel like the day Brian or whomever? How have you been as far as the right read? Yeah, you know, um, you know, I feel like I've been doing a good job of, of making the right decisions. Um, you know, there's going to be certain plays where you'd like to have it back, but. Um, Usually I can tell, you know, right after the play, dang, I should have gone to my alert on that player, gone to the back. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys.